Hello there, partners! Welcome your faces back to another Rolling Line video! Today I'm checking out a new map and also some liveries for this locomotive right here! Yeah, how cool does that look? That livery looks amazing. This isn't actually the only livery we've got for this one, so I'll go ahead and get a few more. Uh, we've also got liveries for these cars right here, which are the central ones. This is also a central locomotive, so that's pretty cool. We can go ahead and attach both of those together. And we've also got the back car also in a livery, which is amazing. So we'll go ahead and uh, attach this to there, and uh, we'll get it going around. In fact, actually, is that on, like a completely different line? Uh, it's close to, but that's okay. That's completely fine. We'll go ahead and flick this switch so that we end up going down here. We'll go ahead and flick that switch so that we end up attaching to there. And everything is A-OK. -okay. Nice. Hey! Okay, so if you're looking for some new liveries, there are a bunch of liveries with the new thingamabobbies. So if we go backwards real quick, uh, obviously this is the one we've got. We've also got these two on the track already as well. Uh, but if we go back a little bit more, we got Monon F7A83. So we'll go ahead and put this on the track next to the other one, and we'll see what this looks like. There we go. Bam! All right, cool. That actually looks amazing. Both of those look really good. They look really nice. Um, but yeah, the liveries on these things look amazing, so uh, hopefully there'll be a few more liveries for these guys. I don't think I've seen a livery for the uh, the B unit. I don't think I've seen one of those. Um, so yeah, I definitely won't have one up here, I don't think. No, I definitely don't. Um, so yeah, yeah, we don't have any B units for now. Anyway, we'll go ahead and attach um, this one to there, and we'll get going around the track. Alrighty, is everybody ready? Oh man, it looks so good when you're inside of here. I know there's no detail around there, but there isn't in all of these trains. So, you know, the detail that is in this one, we do have a chair, we do have a little armrest kind of table thing on the side, and we do have this big monitor right here, which says driving F7 C-U-S-T-O-M livery. Nice, sorry, cool. Let's go ahead and start moving forwards. There we go, we'll go ahead and turn on the head light and somebody told me Maddie they don't generally move with the cab light on so we won't have the cab light on okay sure I've learned I'm learning all right cool we're gonna go forwards at like speed three because that seems like a good old speed to me and we're gonna poke our head out the window we are gonna be attaching to those cars over there which are super long which is great uh, but we don't have any B units as I said before uh, however if we do leave this here for a second and we jump out and we go find ourselves a little uh, our little thingamabobby a little draw. We can go all the way to the back. Wait, is it all the way at the back? I can't remember. Oh, it's here. We could use one of these, but is it worth using one of these? Does it look really dumb? Yeah. Alright, we're not going to use one of those. We're literally just going to use the front locomotive, uh, and hopefully that'll go to... You know, that'll go well, you know? Hopefully. Alright, horn. Yeah, nice. Okay, I think this is our track right here that we need to be reversing onto. Now, I don't think I flicked this switch. No, there we go. I flicked the switch now, so we're going to start going backwards. Yes. And this should allow us to go all the way backwards until we hit the cars. Now, one thing that I've noticed in these trains is they don't have mirrors. Now... I don't know what the point of a mirror would be on a train, because I don't think you'd ever be able to see the, 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 the cars behind you. Um, but, how do they actually attach these? Or do they just go off feel? You know, you kind of know where the, the, uh, the cars are, and you just ram into them, and then you know that you're attached once you've rammed them. I guess, I guess that's kind of how it works, and I guess you can sort of look out the window as well, although you can't really see that much. Uh, but whatever, we'll see, we'll see what happens here. We'll go a little bit slower, because I don't want everything falling off the track, that would suck. That would suck so much, but here she goes. She's going to attach to her in any second now. Nice. Oh, man. Doesn't it look good? Doesn't it look amazing? That, that is cool. It, it does actually look quite cool. All right, and bam, we've attached. All right, start going forwards now, please. There we go. We might have rammed some off the back. Oh, in fact, actually, we've attached to something else. No. Okay, hold on. We need to start going forwards, please. There we go. We need to detach all of those cars because they shouldn't be attached. Please. Please back off. There we go. Oh, no. That didn't work. We'll just do that. There we go. How about... Oh, I've just removed part of the floor? I think I've just removed part of the flooring. Whoops. My bad. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, we're going to get back in the train. We're going to start going full speed. And we'll see if we can get onto the track along with that train over there. I could just about see it through the trees. There's a train moving around. Yeah, nice. All right, we're moving.
Okay, so I forgot that I was recording with no audio for that little clip in the middle, and I recorded a whole bunch afterwards with no voice. So, what I've done is I've sent off the second F7, and it's going around. It is actually over here following these guys, so that's pretty cool. And what I want to do with it is I want to bring it over here, and I want to attach it to all of these right here, these oil cars, because that seems like a good idea. Also, one thing that I need to show you guys is... Uh, we've got mods. We've got mods. Um, and the mods have changed. So the auto mod has changed. Is it called the auto mod? I can't remember what it's called. The quick mod. The quick mod has changed so that we've actually got like these things now. So these are new. Um, and we'll go ahead and put those right there. That is a new uh, car altogether, which is fantastic. If we come back over here and we go forwards, this is also a new thing. So if we bring it over here and we put it down, that's a new locomotive. That's pretty cool. If we go forwards a little bit more, we've got another new locomotive, which is absolutely insane. If we bring it over here, I'll show you guys. Bam! It is like a streamlined steamer. Yeah, a steam train. Um, doesn't have that much like uh, color on it, but I think someone's probably going to make a livery for it soon. Uh, so that's pretty good. I like that one. Uh, if we go backwards over here as well, we can go through here. This is the Amtrak. This is the normal auto, uh, the quick mod. So that's the first one we had. That's pretty cool. If we go back over here, we got another one, which is an iron ore hopper empty, uh, which is tiny, which is amazing. They actually look really cool. Super cool. There is an iron hopper full, which is full of like purple stuff, which I don't know why it's purple, but there you go, uh, which actually looks insane as well. I like those. And then we got this thing, which is the uh, electric one. Uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So, if you guys want to know how to use these mods, I do have a video on it. Uh, however, it has changed a little bit. So, if you guys want me to update that video and make a new one, let me know. Anyway, um, yeah, let's move on to where my trains are. Because I don't know where they are. Alright, there's one right there. That's the first one that we set off. That's good. There's the second one. And there is the third one around this corner. Bam. Alright, cool. Nice. Also, if you guys want to check out this map, I really don't know what it's called, but it'll be on the Steam Workshop somewhere. It's relatively new, and I do actually like it. I do like the way separate separate the rooms out. So, normally, like, there's separate rooms, like, over there. However, this one's done where it's, like, separate tables, kind of. Uh, so, to get to this table, you have to go on the outskirts, uh, and then come back in with reverse, which is kind of what we're going to have to do over here as well. Um, but, yeah, then we've got all of this row over here. Then you turn, and you can either go left, down this row which brings you to another industrial kind of yard kind of thing over there. Um, you can go to this bit, which is another industrial yard. We can go to this bit, which is another industrial yard kind of thing. Um, and I like it. I do actually like the map a lot. It, it looks good. It does look good. All right, cool. We're going to have to wait over here uh, for these trains to go through so that we can get this one going backwards. And that'll be great. Also, we should probably make these guys go too. And if you want to see how long this train is compared to a normal one, it's like, look at that. Look at the size of that. That is absolutely ginormous. Now, if we put a... How about we put a big boy next to it? And I'll show you how big the big boy is. This is without its tender. Uh, and I do realize in the previous video, I did it without a tender, so I'm sorry. Um, but it's about the same size as the big boy. A little bit smaller than the big boy, but that is that is cool. That is really cool. I like it. I like it. It's a little bit less detailed than the, the normal one, but I do like it anyway. Uh, and also, if we go on the inside, um, yeah, this happens, which is a little bit of a shame, but there you go. Uh, I kind of feel like it's like that with most of the mods, but I'm not entirely sure. So if we go if we go over to the mods, we can have a little look at this one. Yeah, we've got the same issue in there. Uh, we've probably got the same issue in... Oh, kind of, but not really. Uh, it's sort of in the wall, but that's okay. Uh, this one definitely doesn't have the issue, which is good. Uh, and that's nice. That's nice. All right, cool. Now all I'm waiting for is the mallard to be built, because the mallard would be amazing. Anyway, uh, this guy is coming out of here, so that means... That we can go backwards very shortly, and that'll be great. So in three, two, one, start moving backwards. Yeah, we don't want to be going too fast because obviously we'll crash into them and they'll explode and stuff like that. And that wouldn't be very good. So we will slowly come backwards. One thing that I do wish was in the game was some sort of buffer so that if I did leave a train going backwards and I went off to do something else, that like it would stop them from falling off the back um, and becoming a big old mess because that would suck. Uh, but yeah, these are going to go backwards. Uh, let's go backwards a little bit quicker. That's fine. All right. Do I have a button that can automatically do this, by the way? I don't know whether I do. I can't remember if there's a hotkey to actually switch these. Maybe it's up and down. Oh, no, wait. That's lights. Wait. All of those are lights. That's really weird. All right, cool. We're slowly going backwards. As soon as we hear the clunk, we're going to go ahead and start going forwards. So let me get this little, this little dibber on my screen. Three, two, one. Are we attached yet? Yeah, there we go. All right, forwards. 
Yeah, all right, cool. So we can either just move this amount because we don't have our B units, or we can go backwards and get this one and this one as well. Um, nah, let's just go with what we got. Let's just go with what we got. Full speed ahead, although that's not a good idea because the other trains are going slower. All right, slow speed ahead, nice. Okay, so she's going around now, that's amazing. We got these guys going around as well, which is fantastic. We've also got this one going around as well. Uh, and basically it's a big loop of a map, so uh, they're gonna continue going around exactly the way they're going. Also, I got called dumb for putting this in the middle of the train. However, I'm sure in that video I did say that it was a back car anyway. Uh, but there you go, right, okay, good. Good, 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 good. We're doing it, we're doing it, boys. Um, I don't really know what else to do in this video, so what I'm gonna say is that we're gonna go ahead and... Where is the train, actually? It's over here. Let's make this one go forwards and we'll see what it looks like when it's moving. Um, but yeah, we'll say that in the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to download these guys new and fresh. And, um, where you guys can get them from. But I'll say it now. You can get them from rollinglinemodding.com, I believe it's called. Uh, and if you join the Rolling Line Discord, you'll sort of know when new ones are going to come out because a lot of people are making them, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.